A study area map is a representation of the geographic boundaries created to define the extent of your analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare such maps using QGIS. I'll be creating a study area map as a sample of a local government area called Abaji in Abuja, Nigeria, in Africa. So if you want to download a study, a, the shape files of your point of interest, there's a, there's a link in the description of this video. It leads to another of my video where you can see a detailed description and it's very simple how to download shape files of any country. Then if you also want to know how to digitize, how I digitize these points from the map, Check out the description of the video. There is also a link to another video on how to digitize shape files using QGIS. So let's get right to it. First, our study area map will show the country Nigeria. We'll turn off, okay. To zoom in to fit your screen, hold down control so that it fits exactly nicely. What shows on this screen is what will be represented on your print layout. We'll turn off our OSM standards. I don't need this. The download from the website, which is in the link in the description of this video, downloads three sets of maps, one showing the country boundaries, one showing the local government areas or county boundaries and the third one showing the state boundaries it's this one i will want to use if i'm to show the position of nigeria in africa i would show this this one but now i'm showing the position of the state in the country then i'll show the one showing the boundaries of states so this will be my first map. My second map will now be of Abuja and my third map will be of the local government area. Let's go straight into it. We'll add a new print layout, call it um, study area Abaji. Here we go. It's by default on A4. You can change that to A3 or depending on what you want to print it or what you want to use it for. I will stick with A3 for now. So, first, we'll add our map. This is up to the halfway point. This is the map of Nigeria. Let us edit the scale. To make sure it's in round figure one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll replace that with zeros one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. The larger the scale, the smaller the map. So I need some white space around. Let's reduce this to reduce the scale to nine. Too much. Reduce it to eight. I like that. Then let us add as you can see from the map the orientation is zero degrees which is not upward so we add a not arrow it doesn't have to be so conspicuous we add a scale bar let's make sure it's in line here with the not arrow So um, we don't need a legend. Let's add our map title. Call it map of Nigeria. You can increase the fonts. We 
you can give this a very small frame so that you can change the color let's just move fast then let's add a grid first let's remember remember to lock your layer so that whenever you return and change something on the other map it doesn't affect it so we can add a grid here modify grids let's use um, centimeters 10 Let's add a frame on the map. Let's add a map frame. Yeah, so this is it. Then we do basically the same thing for all other maps. So first we return to our base map. We now want to show this state As you can see, my study area is showing. Maybe I'm working on a map that is showing the relationship between hospitals and um, fatality rates in the country. So I want to show the position of hospitals on my map in the local government area. And this is just a study area. Uh, I'm not so comf comfortable with this color, but let's just go ahead on our print layout. We'll do exactly the same thing, add map. I like some white space on the background, so let's turn off the other layer. So it automatically updates but because this other layer is locked it doesn't update so we'll go lock this layer as well lock this style and then we as normal add a skill bar add our orientation indicator Add a map title. Call it map of Abuja. You can increase the font here. Another way to also do this, let's unlock this layer. We can decide to make it such that this layer is shown on the map. Yeah, so it shows other. Um, let's turn off this. We can change the label in here to show
yeah so that it shows the different um local government areas in the state it depends on where you want you can decide to instead of leaving your map like this you can if i was to make this work for a detailed job i would turn off this layer and digitize all these other local governments within the state so that they will have their own distinct colors just anyhow you want it to be and make it as presentable as possible so that's just what i wanted to say here let's return to our map So that is for this. Then our final map will have the every other thing turned off. Let's turn off every other thing. We'll have just the local government area. Hold down control, zoom it in. We can turn on our open street map. If you want to show it on the OSM background or just make it as plain as you want, then you come here and do exactly the same thing of add map. Yeah, we can now increase the scale by reducing the value here to 3 perfect then reduce everything here to 0 I deleted 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 enter fine let's reduce this to 4 this is cool then we can enter our map Mm. Enter your map title as normal. Call it um hospital locations in Abaji Abuja Nigeria. Increase the fonts. You can play around with all of this. You can add a frame. Center this. Center this. You can add a frame for your map title. Make it look neater. You can add color to it. You can use this arrow to show how this comes from. here and how this comes from here just click on the array again just like that if you think it's necessary or you can be a lot more creative than this maybe take out the array like this like this and let it look neat you can of course you add your skill bar add your not arrow add your legend because we now have things to show on our map here you add your legend this is how you add your legend all of these are not necessary so just only things shown on the map fine this is our legend we can add a frame for our legend. You can edit it as much as you want. That's about it. So to always save your edits, save your edits to avoid stories that touch. Then we can to exit our map to save the map. Export as image. Study area abaji. Done. You enter all the settings and save. If you want to know how to produce print layouts 
detailed print layout for a map that is showing much more map elements than skill bar legends and title check out the description in this video i also drop a link on how to create a detailed print layout using kgis i hope you found value with this video if you did please don't fail to leave a like like subscribe to my channel and expect even bigger valuable updates in the coming weeks thank you